YouTube family. Look like police think they got a way they're going to break this case. And it's going to be through PNB Rocks jewelry. The stolen jewelry that they took from him. And I'm hearing allegedly an iPhone as well. That's why you see it on the title. I seen another YouTuber do it. And I didn't want it to be capped. So I looked over it. And this whole article's a whole lot of them we found. Um, Y'all could go check it out yourselves. To any weird clown who want to say it's cap, Why don't you just use your smartphone. And just click on the damn search engine. But I can't tell what clown to get out the circus. He lives in the circus. So let's continue it y'all with the grown folks who are listening and paying attention much love to y'all now police alert pawn shops to be on the lookout for pnb rocks jewelry i'm gonna play a video for you guys so we can watch that from the video perspective and then i'll bring up the articles and all that on the screens for the receipts part and the portions but before we get started y'all already know to let everybody around the world see this news we need y'all to hit that like button Hit that notification bell and come rock out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform, which is everybody's platform, an unbiased platform that tries to do the best he can do with positive and take negative news to make it somber and closure so we can just move on forward. You feel me? But never forgetting the ones we've lost. Now, let's start with the show the right way. Salute to all of y'all. Their jewelry. Tell me you trust me again. Tell me it's us. Chicken and water for investment. Much respect to all of y'all. That's the report that came in, and that's what we got to see and, and, and get an understanding of. But let's break this thing down a little bit together. You feel me? Like just to see where uh Jake's and them was coming from meaning 12 like I really want to get a better understanding so y'all hit that like button now let's look at it we know about the stolen jewelry we just heard what they brought now the investigation into the murder of PNB Rock is still ongoing as detectives are reportedly alerting pawn shops in the Los Angeles areas to keep a lookout you feel me for the situation now we can see according to a TMZ report published on Wednesday September 14th Detectives from the Los Angeles Police Department are working tirelessly to apprehend PNB Rock's killer, so much so that they are notifying local pawn shops in the LA area to keep an eye out for the jewelry stolen from the Philadelphia rapper Crooner's neck. So they're, they're on this, they're paying attention. And as you can see, it's a lot that probably escalated behind the scenes, like through politicians and all that. These are brazen murders. I mean, in broad daylight and all that, although it keeps happening, it actually hurts the, uh, the city a whole lot. So as you read it on your screen, I'm going to read a separate one. But law enforcement sources also reportedly told the media outlet that investigators have talked with people close to PNB to assertion and what type of jewelry you feel me? I mean, ascertain to what type of jewelry he was wearing at the time of his murder. And additionally, detectives reportedly have reached out to various pawn shops in the area, asked them to contact police if anyone comes in and tries to sell the stolen jewelry. So, you know what I mean? So they're on their P's and Q's. And y'all can read the second paragraph. It's on the screen. Um, it, it's just a whole lot, man. You, you got to look at the way they're breaking it down like that. Now, PNB Rock was shot and killed on September 12th in an attempted robbery while he ate at Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in South Los Angeles, along with his girlfriend, Steph, who posted her meal at a restaurant location on Instagram in a since deleted post. I also was the first person to tell y'all there was a first post. People don't know if it was by her or you feel me. Um your guy pnb rock even though people are saying it was his but ain't no way to prove that unless if they have it i'll wait till they show it but he took one behind the roscoe's chicken and waffles taking it him standing in front of his vehicle i don't know if that was deleted or how they even found that but it was reported by the news also by the so said property manager who confirmed that so now as you see over here man the hip-hop community is like reeling and mourning the death of this man you feel me former label atlantic records issued a heartfelt tribute to the fallen artist it reads pmb rock was more than an artist to many rakeem allen was a great friend he was also a wonderful father to two beautiful little girls this news is heavy on our heart 
we are all hurting over this senseless loss. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family during this difficult time. XXL has reached out to the Los Angeles Police Department. I ain't trying to be funny, but of course they did, you know? So that stolen chain is like everything to this. And it's like what you've seen, the madness coming from. So blessings and rest in peace to everybody. We lost people like Snooty Wilds. Gunu, I'm just saying people of recent this year, DJ K Slay, you feel me, Little Keed, rest in peace to him, definitely, of course, the big homie Trouble, you feel me, or the little homie, I should say, I think I got him by a year, you feel me, Jay the Youngin, or maybe he got a year by me, but Jay the Youngin, rest in peace to him too, and now PNB Rock, the hip hop community lose them over at least a 10 a year, that's insanity right there, man, keep doing the same thing, definition is insanity, look, y'all, thank you for joining me and blessing us here, I want y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, thank you for rocking out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live, blessings to all of y'all, deeply, really appreciated this, peace.